<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another stream of Final Fantasy VII, the original one for the PlayStation. The original PlayStation, I should say. Uh, I believe... Yeah. We, we did quite a bit in the last stream, although it's been a little while since I did play. Uh... We're in the new continent, and we just visited Gon... Gon Gaga Village? I forgot the reason why. I believe it wasn't even necessary to go there, but... Well, there you go. And now, we basically just need to go to Cosmo Canyon. That is actually the next story-related thing that we need to go to. And I believe, you look at the map there, it is the... Uh, area on the left so let's make our way over there right now and I think yeah we can finally we can cross no we can't cross that I think I can cross the, the ones a little bit more shallow up front but regardless hey what are these things I forgot to check hold on it's nice how I do more damage now it's a G G Gig Handy. <laughs> what? What type of names do they give these creatures? You know what? It's fine. It's still interesting. It throws me off track. It's like, oh, all right, that's a name. Got a soft too. But thankfully, I have I haven't really need needed to grind whatsoever, so I'm cool with that. Uh, wait a minute. Do I... I go through here? Oh yeah, I do. I think I do see a place up there I can actually go into. Oh. Uh, well, it's a preemptive attack, so that's good. Holy... That's not good. Barrett, man. Taking all those hits. Good job, buddy. But these guys are strong. They legit took, like, almost a thousand damage and they were not going down yet. Damn. Is that all you like doing is Rage Bomb? Calm down, dude. I'm expecting some good experience here now. Seriously? 666? And 66 uh, ability points? Okay. It actually is pretty a uh, good, decent amount of experience. Yeah, is that not? Is this not? Is this it? What happened to my thing? Um. I just got that thing! Seriously? Well then. Ain't that some BS. Oh man. A breakdown? Now? Well, I guess it was scripted. I heard this place has some awesome music. Hell yeah, it does. Best bring my Holy Cross. <laughs> yeah. Cosmo Cannon, ladies and gentlemen. I've always heard about this place. I've always heard it had some awesome music. Oh, it it's awesome. Oh, I love this song already. Okay. I am home. It is I, Nan Nanaki. Hey, Nanaki, you're safe. Come on, say hello to Bugenhagen. Nanaki? 
Seriously, what the hell? Nanaki? Hmm. I'm still confused. I mean, I'm glad we're... I, it looks like we're finally going to get to see more of an origin story or the understanding of Red 13 because he's a huge enigma, at least to me right now. So, let's see. Justin, what's up, buddy? You're just stopping in to say, hope you all have a wonderful stream, which I could say. Stay? No, that's all right, Justin. Thank you so much, buddy, for stopping by and saying what's up. Definitely appreciate it. Hope all is well with you, buddy. Oh, crap. Do you know what I forgot to do is uh, start my timer. There you go. Welcome to Cosmo Canyon. Are you familiar with this land? I am not. Let me explain. People from all over the world gather here to seek the study of planet life. Ooh, okay, Barrett is excited about that. I always wanted to come here. Umga, it's full capacity at present, so I'm afraid I can't let you enter. Oh, damn. They helped me with some. They helped me some when I was on the road. Please let them in. I helped you some? Some? Red 13? Really? Okay, then. Oh, is that so? You helped our Nanaki? Oh, please, come in. Damn right you better let my ass in. Who is Nanaki? Nanaki is Nanaki. That's his name. Doesn't really answer what I just said, or what I asked, but... Okay. Um... Fine. Fine. Ah. Well. Let's start exploring. So he went up here, yeah? What the? Get out of my way! Here's where I was. I mean, this is my hometown. My tribe were protectors of, the, uh, of those who appreciate this beautiful canyon and the planet. My brave mother fought and died here, but my cowardly father left her. I'm the last of my race. Cowardly father? Yes, my father was a wastrel. And so the mission I inherited from my ancestors is to protect this place. My journey ends here. Hey, Nanaki, you're home! Coming, Grandpa! I'm still confused about all this. Good timing. Let's take a breather. I got stuff I want to find out, too. Okay. Tasty cocktails. The pub Scarlet. No, Starlet, excuse me. Fluffy beds in Shil Shildra Inn. Come in today. It's right near Cosmo Candle. Okay. Later. Oh, hell yeah, save. I know we just started, but... Save. Uh... What was my last save point, though? Let's see here. I love the music, though. Uh, this one. All right, Tiger Lily's Arm Shop. Ooh. Welcome. The people of this canyon hate to compete, <laughs> so almost everything here are replicas. But that's all right. Some of them really uh, you really can use. All right. You got disconnected? Well, welcome back, po' girl. So, they got new weapons for us. Ooh. And... They're all very good. Hmm. So... I mean, I have a good, good amount of money here. Um, so I guess it's fine what I can get here. Hmm.
At least I think that's what I want to do, yeah? Ah, oh, well, hold on a minute. I'm trying to see, like, what it's, who's, who really, really needs it. Cloud, yeah, it has some more attack, but it's just three more. I think I can hold off for a little bit more. I think it would be more beneficial for uh, Tifa and Barrett because they're in my team, so. Oh, wait a minute. Normal. Hmm. Actually, yeah, I would definitely want to hold off on Klaus because his has a double growth. I'm going to hold off on that. But these guys, yeah, I'll go ahead and get them something. I don't use Eris for anything. Actually, I heard that because this is Red 13's area, he will eventually want to uh, use him here. So I'm going to go ahead and give him this. This is his stuff. Um... I don't... Yuffie, I really don't use... Or Kate Scythe. Or Kate Sith, whatever. And... Actually, I'll get two of these. There. Spent like 10 gil... 10,000 gil there? Excuse me. Yes, I did spend 10,000 gil. But... It's all worth it, in my opinion. We recently read a thread about something... Someone asking the best way to get played through Final Fantasy VII for the first time. And someone answered... Go in completely blind, don't look at through any FAQs, just don't read any topics. The game's easily spoiled, unless, of course, you don't like playing games twice, in which case, go ahead and get an FAQ out. You follow the complete guide when I play through Persona 4 Golden for the first time, and in retrospect, I shouldn't have, because I didn't really experience a game I should have on my own. A guide walkthrough is helpful if you're stuck, but I wouldn't do that again. What's your thoughts, since you're doing the same here? So, I think it depends on what guide you're looking at. Um, I'm actually using a guide just to make sure that I'm not missing anything, per se. And I understand what you mean, like, getting the full experience out of the game. I totally understand. But I feel like with older games, like this one, it is pretty difficult to miss... Well, no, it's difficult to, um... It's... Excuse me. It's very easy to miss things. And that's what I don't want to do. I want to be able to catch everything there is what this game has to offer. Modern games, I feel, I feel is a little bit different. Uh, I feel like uh, it's pretty much laid out what you need to do. Uh, I can see guides, like for Persona 4 and maybe even 5, I can see guides being used um, for getting the social links. But in terms of like figuring out where you need to go, the weaknesses, things like that. I'd rather go in a little bit blind on that, personally. That's me. You got a lurk? All right, Poe Girl and Nature. You guys enjoy your lurk. The hell, Bear? What are you doing in here? It was this guy who studied pl planetary life here. And enjoyed a lurk, Jaden. He couldn't take things the way they were, so he went to Midgard to form Avalanche. Want to hear more? Uh... Yeah, go on. Guess you could say this is where Avalanche was born. I always wanted to come here. And... I finally... Made it. A lot... Happened. Okay, and then? And then? I don't know what's gonna happen now there's no more avalanche. Aw, oh, now I feel bad because keep I keep thinking back to Jesse, Wedge, and Biggs. Oh. Persona 4 Golden was your very first Persona game, and it seemed daunting to be at, my, to be at for your first. So that's why I was confused. You consulted a complete guide, which I completely understand, you know? That's what I love about gaming, you know? There's no wrong way to play a game. In the end, if you are enjoying yourself, boom. You mission accomplished. You you are doing what you're setting out to do. You're having fun in the game. If people like complain to you that you're not doing it right or something like that, screw them. Enjoy the game however you see fit. As long as you're having fun, that's it, you know? 
You really dig this music? Final Fantasy always has great music. Yes. Yes, it does. It doesn't matter what if you if you don't like a particular Final Fantasy game, I think we can almost all agree the music of Final Fantasy is fantastic. Um and that's why I went to the symphony. The Final Fantasy Symphony last year because it was so damn nice. I would check out that room to the left, but because I feel that's where we gotta continue with the story, uh, I'm gonna hold off on here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see. Hmm. I'm gonna see where I can go. They mentioned this place here. <laughs> well, there's Tifa. Are you getting a drink, Tifa? Red 13. I wonder what's happened to Red 13. He's as excited as a little boy. Hmm. So I, I guess this is the pub, the Starlet pub. So that's cool. But apparently, if we go to the second floor, we examine this. That is the Paradise Turtle Turtles Paradise Number Five. So I believe that's. Oh well, crap! We missed four. I hope it's around here, but uh, this is part of the side quest. Our cocktails are good, but our wine is the best. Please stop in to Turtles Paradise. Okay. Welcome to Shoulder Inn. It'll be 100 gil a night. Nah, I'm fine right now. Maybe later. You just wish more people played old Persona games instead of refusing to touch them because they're old? Yeah, I mean, I guess for a lot of people, you know, it's... Because the older Persona games are just, they're not the same, you know? Like, people are going to say, where's, like, the jazzy feel? Where's the... Where's this? It's not flashy, but it's like, you know, people have tastes. I mean, they like, they have their own tastes and opinions, you know? It, it might be hard for them to get into the older ones. So... So apparently, oh, there it is. There's an elixir right there. Ah, man, I love the music. I believe that's all we can really do here. Welcome, how about our original cocktail, Cosmo Candle? A drink now and then uh, this is good for you. Uh, relax you a bit, if you don't want to stop. Uh... Well, I can't apparently order one, so F it. Uh, what's in here? I don't know. What? What is it? Their storage? Why could I come in here? Okay. There is a place I can go up here. There you go. I don't know why I have a hard time getting on the ladders in this game. Let's see. Hello. Looking for anything in particular? Let's see. Okay, you sell a bunch of items here. Uh, I'm pretty well stocked. I feel like potions are definitely not going to be useful that much anymore. Um considering they only heal 100. High potions are probably going to be more my thing now. But I have 16 of them, so I think I should be okay. We have Phoenix Downs. We have 17 of those. Oh, now I can buy Ethers. Holy crap, they're expensive. All right. Uh, thank God I have 14 of them. A couple tents. Maiden's Kisses. Cornucopias. Uh, softs, hyper tranquilizers. Um, hmm. I guess that's that. It's telling me I should buy something particularly particular, but it's not here. It might not be in this version of the game. 
Whoops. Alright, well, there's that. What's this green arrow for? Couldn't even get there. Alright, well, in any case, I believe we're going to go ahead and continue with the story just a little bit. And that's going back to where Breath 13 ran up the stairs, so... Wait a minute, hold, hold on. I was totally gonna miss that. That's number four. All right, so I believe we only have one or two. And I think there's only one more. I think there's only six of these in the game. So this is number four. Turtle Paradise Newsletter number four. Now hiring, looking for someone who can stand long hours of boredom. For details, contact Pub Turtle, Turtle Paradise. I'm not sure that's a good thing, but um, alrighty then. <laughs> that uh, inter that's interesting. Anyway, let's continue. There he, come on, get in there. Hello? Ooh, what's this? Uh, what's going on here? Are you cooking? Oh man, I'm so sorry. I need more help. Mummer complaint. Okay. Uh, why is nobody helping you? I, I hate that. It's kind of pet peeve. You see somebody working or cooking, it's like... Stop in and help a little bit if you can. Doo -doo 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 -doo. No, sir. You forgot your change. I'm coming. You here to shop? Sure, yeah. Oh, is that so? You're to shop? I just said that. Oh, I'm sorry. We hardly ever get customers, so. Oh, but I do have confidence in our materia. Oh, do you now? What do you got? What? Oh, no. Increases HP capacity and MP capacity? I feel like these always should be on our party. I want this on my main party. But what? That's expensive as shit, though. Say, okay, say I get three of each, right? What is that? 48? Thousand gill? Can I sell? How much? Twenty-five. Huh. That gives you quite a bit of money there. Seven fifty. What the hell? Damn, ethers are. Well, they are fifteen hundred to buy. Oh boy, commence grinding, obviously. Seriously, like I'm, I'm tempted. I'm really tempted now. I'm trying to see what the hell I could get rid of. I don't really need. Like, yeah, these I can get rid of, right? I don't need, I don't need these anymore. They have their weapons a no crap wait no I just bought these right I think I just bought these two oh I have, I have to come back I can't remember oh damn 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 
No, I just bought this. Oh my god. You know what? Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. For the time being, I'm gonna get. I'll get one of the, I'll get one of these for now. One of each. I'll come back here later and get the others. Um because how insane is this? Um Ten percent? So he's at eight forty eight, nine fifty seven. Holy crap. Um Yeah. Oh, I'm not gonna grind right now, guys, but like I I'll have to remember like maybe eventually I can come back here or something. Cause that that's really nice to have. You almost caught up on watching your VODs for Final Fantasy VII? No, oh, thank you. Thank you, Anton. I will put those up on YouTube eventually, but um, yeah, they're always here on on Twitch. Uh, Golden Witch, welcome to the stream. Okay, now I gotta think about what I can get rid of. Um, I like having this enemy skill, honestly. Death Blow. I get it, like... Like, it might be nice to have, because it's basically, like, a critical chance or not. But it's like, how often am I really going to use it? And his MP is at 181. Oh, that one's not super grand, but it is only 10%, but that's... It's still nice. Oh, boy. Um... I definitely want more... I want a lot more. Oh, those HP pluses and MP pluses. We'll we'll just have to come back later, or maybe we'll find them out someplace else. So, you're in a bad situation today. I'm sorry, Golden Witch. And welcome back, old girl. Also, if you just if you if you just know started to upload Pokemon Sword, well now I just start upload. Yeah, I'm. It's because I have other projects going on, so it's like, like I don't want to oversaturate my channel, but yeah. You grind to get specific we weapons, armor, and material. I just, you just got the second disc. And I'm at level fifty-three. Oh my god! What? Yeah, I'm at level twenty-two. So I I'm not grinding at least just yet. Um. So. We'll see how things go. Did I come through there? I can't even remember. Bugenhagen sealed this door shut. How did he do that? With super glue? I guess he did. Are you floating? No, you're. I think you're just swaying. Or, or uh, actually, uh, whatever. Cloud, this is my grandfather, Bugen. He's incredible. He knows everything. Oh, oh, oh! I hear you looked after Nanaki a bit. Uh, Nanaki is still a child, you see. You think he's supposed to be legless? Oh. Huh. I don't know. Of course, Chigger. You do what you gotta do. Thank you so much for coming out, buddy. Please stop, Grandfather. I'm 48. Oh, oh, oh. Nanaki's tribe has incredible longevity. So you see, his 48 years would only be equivalent to, say, that of a 15 or 16 year old in human reckoning. 15 or 16? Eh, hey, he's quiet and very deep. You thought he was an adult? Grandfather, I want to be an adult. I want to grow up to be able to protect you in the village. Oh, 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 no, Nanaki. 
can't stand on your own yet. To do that now would destroy you in the long run. Reaching up to the, into the heavens, threatening to snatch the very stars from the great city of Midgar. You've seen it, haven't you? Well, that's a bad example. Looking up too much makes you lose perspective. When it's time for this planet to die, you'll understand that you know absolutely nothing. When the planet dies? Oh, 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 it may be tomorrow or a hundred years from now, but it's not long off. Wait, how do you know this? I hear the cries of the planet. Sorry, that's my radiator. Wait, what's that? Yeah, the sounds of the stars in the heavens. While this goes on, planets are born and die. What was that? I don't know, it kind of sounded like a dying whale. Oh, 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 that was a scream from this planet. Didn't you hear it? And if to say, I hurt, I suffer. They have come here on a journey to save the planet. Why don't you show them the apparatus? Oh, 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 to save the planet? Ho, ho, ho! But then again, I guess it wouldn't hurt to show him. Bugenhagen! Several odd-looking people have come. Oh, the whole place has gotten busy all of a sudden. He brought friends too. I'll go get them. So that's interesting. He's like only like 15 or 16. In other words, Red is about the same age as Yuffie, which that's scary. <laughs> well, that does make sense why Yuffie acts the way she does. I forgot she is the youngest of the group so far. So what's up, Golden Witch? Your water supply for the town and next town has gone to mess. Nobody knows what happened, but our water is actually dirty right now, like brown dirty. They aren't telling us what's going on. My neighbor even has their water cut. It's clearly unusable, let alone drink. We are in a complete darkness of what's going on. It's been like this since the morning? Jeez, I'm sorry, Golden Witch. Is it possible for the water to be filtered whatsoever, or... Why, they just expect everybody in the town just to say, Oh, no water for a little bit. That's ridiculous. Huh. Hey, Cloud, please call one of them. Only three people can fit into Grandfather's machine. Um. Uh, hmm. Okay. Well. I guess I gotta find them. Where the hell are they? Well, I want Barrett for sure. What? What? <laughs> um. Oh, he has fury on him. Uh oh. Wait, can I? Wait a minute. Wait. I have to make a party of three, no matter what. Hmm. I thought I had to have, what's his name? Breath 13. If not, that's fine. What I'm gonna do actually now I'll I'll heal up. And then I'll save and continue. 
I believe the second floor of this. Alright. You honestly have no means to filter it? Ugh, I'm sorry, Golden Witch. That's insane. I, I hope they fix whatever it is. I mean, honestly, it seems like somebody hit a, a line and, like, somebody's not taking the blame for it. The infrastructure is not built properly. I have no idea. Oh. <sighs> As per the booklet 597, Cloud's 21, Aerith's 22. Oh, I thought she was actually the same age. Southar's age is unknown. Tifa's 20, Bear's 35. You're in her to me. <laughs> and Red's, uh... Wait, I thought you said they're 16. Uh, Red is. Same age as Yuffie. Yeah, I, somebody told me earlier, when I first started this LP, that Cloud and them were like 21... Or, like, in the 20s, period, so. Which I thought was interesting. I'm like, whoa, wow, really? All right. Um, oh, yeah. Now that I have him here, let's go ahead and equip their stuff. So, his good weapon now... Wait, what? See, it sucks. I'm getting rid of their double... Um... Weapon growth, unfortunately, but... Ah, uh, that boost, though, you know? So, Heavy Vulcan. And... Well, you need to have something on you, so... I guess I'll give you... Yeah, I guess I'll give you Death Blows, just so it levels up. The other ones, I heard it's good just to have the all material on them just so it levels up so you get a lot of money later. So, uh, yeah, I'll just put it on. Screw it. Oh, crap, no. I was supposed to also put Tifa's thing on, too. Uh, she has Tiger Fang. And also, she needs the Silver Armlet. Jeez, I can't believe I was... She was going without that. Uh, let's see. You. Do I need manipulate? I don't know if I do or not. I mean, these trans these these summons I rarely use, so I think I'm okay. Oh, bless you, nature. Kate says age is unknown for a particular reason you won't spoil. Ah, gotcha. I appreciate it, then. Uh... Okay. I guess that's good. Did I save? I think I did, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna save again, because... Oh my god, what the hell's wrong with me? This game is very unique in terms of Final Fantasy. Oh, it, it's very unique in Final Fantasy in terms of ages. Right, because in, like, in almost any other RPG, if anyone is their age, they're considered old, and, like, they can't save the planet anymore. Like, all protagonists in RPGs, they, they have to be teenagers. Gazoon Titan is just another way to say bless you, isn't it? Unlocked. Come on in. Okay. Oh, oh, oh! It looks like you have them all together. Let's begin. I'll, I'll be standing here. <laughs> I talk good.
What the hell? Wow, it's just like the real thing. Mm, yeah, it's pretty good. This is my laboratory. All the workings of space are entered into this 3D holographic system. Look, oh look, look, a shooting star. Look pretty big for a shooting star. Oh, that's a black hole. That's not good. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, 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 yes, it is something, isn't it? Well, let's get to the subject. Eventually, all humans die. Not yet sad, but unfortunately true. What happens to them after they die? Well, the, di the body decomposes and returns to the planet. That much everyone knows. Well, what about their consciousness, their hearts, and their souls? The soul, too, returns to the planet. And not only those of humans, but everything on this planet. In fact, all living things in the universe are the same. The spirits that return to the planet merge with one another and roam the planet. They roam, converge, and divide, becoming a swell called the life stream. Life stream. In other words, a path of energy of the, of the souls roaming the planet. Spirit energy is a word that you should never forget. A new life. Children are blessed with spirit energy are brought into the world. Then, the time comes when they die, and once again they return to the planet. Of course, there are exceptions, but this is the way of the world. I've de de digressed, uh, but you'll understand better if you watch this. An educational video. So that's interesting, we're getting lore regarding... I don't know, life. I have a great old man voice going for a Bugenhagen. Oh, thank you, Anton. I take pride in my voice work. So that's interesting. So, like... Every, like the live stream is part of the planet. But what happens... Yeah, well, Now, wait a minute. What happens to the live stream if the planet dies? Like, there's no more live stream then. Right? Spirit energy makes all things possible. Trees, birds, and humans. And not just living things, but spirit energy makes it possible for planets to be planets. What happens if that spirit energy were to disappear? Yeah, well, then a planet would die, right? The live stream sustains the planet, if I'm not mistaken, from what I'm understanding. Yeah, look at that. No spirit energy, no live stream, then bloop. These are the basics of the study of planet life. If the spirit energy is lost, our planet is destroyed. Wait, what is that? Make Bugen sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> Arnold Bugenhagen. I'll do one line, but it's not going to be good. Oh, ho, ho. spirit energy is efficient because it exists within nature. When spirit energy is forcefully extracted and manufactured, it can accomplish its true purpose. <laughs> That's all you guys are getting. You're talking about Mako energy, right? Every day, Mako reactors shuck up spirit energy, diminishing it. Spirit energy gets compressed into the reactors and processed into Mako energy. All living things are being used up and thrown away. 
In other words, Mega Energy will only destroy the planet. So that so Avalanche is right. They they were legit destroying the reactors because they it is killing the planet. So this is how Barrett knew all this already. Huh. Uh, the story of the planets and those who lived with them. You want to know more? You must listen to the words of the elders. All right. That was, uh... We got a lot of exposition there. It was all pretty cool. Um... But yeah. Uh, oh, give me one second, guys. I have a few things I gotta check up on in my email. They no. Okay. Oh, I, I'm I'm glad you guys enjoyed that voice. Um, does nobody know how to clip? Uh, I mean, I'm sure I can later. That's if I remember, but... That voice reminded you of Beard Burger, Ma Beard Burger Master from Parappa the Rapper 2? Oh my god. Uh, have I ever played that one? Or I thought I played like a demo of it, but I could be wrong. Ugh. So now what do I do? Nanaki? Is father a coward? Uh, so that's it. Nanaki's been thinking that all this time. So I guess his father's not a coward, but okay. Oh, my. <sighs> Excuse me. Ah, oh, man, I, uh... Now, unfortunately, I know that Cosmo Cannon won't be in the remake. Because we're only getting part of it. Um, but eventually, when I get to it, it's gonna be insane. Oh, God, I can't... I, playing this, I, I just can't wait to see how the remake's gonna live up to everything. They can't mess it up. That's the thing. They cannot mess up the remake. Because if they do, then dear God. Oh, hey, that's where you guys are. That space exposition will look really mega in the remake. That That is very true. Uh, now take your time, nature. And thank you for uh, clipping that, Jaden. You rock. I hope you guys enjoy that. Ah, oh, okay. Cosmo Canyon. This is where this is where Avalanche was born. I promise my guys someday, when we save the planet from the Shinra, that we all go to Cosmo Canyon and celebrate. Biggs, Wedge, Jesse. Now they're all gone. Died for the planet. Really? To save the planet? We all... We all hate the Shinra. Do I even uh, get, gotta go on? Will they... Will they ever forgive me? Sure they will, Barrett. They knew what they were doing. I feel like Square's very well aware that they cannot allow themselves to mess up the remake. Fans would never forgive that. That's very true. But you know somebody's going to complain either way. Because, you know, some people were already complaining that, oh, it's an action RPG like Kingdom Hearts. It's going to suck. However, there are options. There is a way you can only play the game using commands. And what I mean by that is, uh, there's a feature in the game where it's automatic. Like, the characters will move on their own. 
they like during battle they'll move on their own they'll guard on their own and then you input commands once your a uh, your a to b gauge is up to use magic to use special moves to use your limits summons things like that so it will feel like you're playing the classic version of the game but people are still going to complain because that that's the world we live in you know Ah. <sighs> right now, I really don't know. But I know one thing. If there's anything I can do to save the planet, or the people living on it, then I'm gonna do it. I don't care if it's just for justice or revenge or whatever. But I don't care. Let them decide for themselves. But, oh, I'm gonna do it. Again. Again. Avalanche is born again. You go, Barrett. Cloud, bonfires are funny, aren't they? They make you remember all sorts of things. You know, Cloud, five years ago... It's nothing. No, forget it. I'm afraid to ask. What is it? It feels like... It feels like you're going far away. You really, really are. You, right? I mean, who else would I be if not me? Hmm. Five Fantasy Seven is such a well-loved game, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if Square feels obligated to make it the best it can be. Yeah. Warcraft Three Reforged. Now, that's a good point. Now, personally, I haven't seen what the hell's wrong with the game, because I, I'm not interested in RTSs. All I know is the game was released, and all I know is that people hate it. And I'm not sure what they did to it for people to hate it. Like they, I heard they're offering full refunds and everything for the game. Like, what happened with Warcraft 3 Reforged? Because Blizzard needs to make up to their fans quite a bit. I mean, they even complained over Aerith's chin being too pointy at some time before. Really? Come on. I learned a lot. The elders taught me many things. About the Citra, about the Province Land. I'm alone. I'm all alone now. But I'm, like, we're here for you, right? I know, I know, but I mean, I'm the only Citra. Does that mean we can't help? I mean, I, I think I... Okay, I don't think we can fully understand, like, ourselves how Aerith feels, because she's, like, legit the only part of her race around, apparently. Although, wait a minute. What about Sephiroth? Because we learned that he is a byproduct of Genova. So, and she is part of Citra, so... Isn't he technically one? Hmm... Oh, no. I understand. Aer I definitely agree Aerith over Eris. I just left it as Eris because that's what the game defaulted it to, but I like Aerith is so much better than Eris. I isn't Eris... That's a that's just a mistranslation because in every other game, it's always Aerith. So... Wait, wait a minute. The creative de designer of Somnium Files had to come out because there's a weird incident of some mass negative reviews as of late. He said he only recently learned of a review bombing and speculated it's because people are being shitty over the LGBT, LGBT matter in it. <sighs> now, see, that's the thing. I I brought it up during my uh, excuse me during my let's play that the character Mama. And it's like, oh, okay. You know, I wasn't expecting a character like that, but I was like, okay, there it is. And it made me think. I was like, well. I was like, I wonder what drove them to make a character like that, you know? I mean, once, and then once again, it's like, well, everybody d decide, the director, the creative designers des decide who goes in a game. End of story. That's that, you know? But, like, I was thinking, I was like, I wonder if people are going to get upset over that because people are just, some people are just nasty out there. 
Um, I guess... Here you go. I thought people were gonna review or were review were bombing it because they still never fixed the Windows 7 version of the game. But Omamo is an awesome character in Somnium Files. But people once again, people are just gonna be idiots. I wonder how many years it's been. Gosh, it brings back memories. What a boring place. Just like I thought. I wanna go somewhere. Let's go find some materia. Yuffie acting like Yuffie. Um. Now here's the thing. So I guess eventually I will be using and I'll be forced to use um, Red 13. So if that's the case, here's what I need to do for the time being. Fudge. Uh. Uh-oh. Well, no, I have healing. Well, that still sucks, though. I want to pull off her materia so I can put it on Red 13. Because she has a restore stuff. I really should just buy an extra one and put it on somebody, but it's like, eh. Oh, now I can talk to him. Okay. Who cares what gender mama is? People who do that need to grow up. I really, really, really wish it was that simple, Poke Girl. It sounds like common sense, right? It sounds easy. But unfortunately for a lot of people in the world, they, they'll they come up with some excuse not to like somebody for stupidest things. Even if you don't agree with somebody's lifestyles or their choices, whatever. It's, it's stupid. Long ago, when I was still very small, we were all around this flame. No. Never mind. W what happened? It's about my parents. When I talk about my mother, I am full of pride and joy. And that's fine. But when I remember my father, my heart is full of anger. You really can't forgive your father? Of course. He left mother for dead. When the, the Gi tribe attacked, he ran off by himself, leaving mother and the people of the canyon. Come, Nanaki. There's something you should see. Hmm? The place may be dangerous. Cloud, will you and one other person come with us? Okay. This is where the game's like, Hey! For God's sakes! You, you need to use Red 13 here. So because of this now... I'll go ahead and, uh, well, I need to bring in Tifa just for a little bit, because I want to take out her materia, and swipe her with Barrett. So. Or I could just keep Tifa in there, but... Hmm. Nah, I think I still want Barrett. You think it's... Oh, it's Nanaki? Nanaki. Nanaki. I'll try remembering that. Yeah, I, still, I think I still want Barrett. So... Uh... So what is she? She has all restore, sense... Long range. I guess I could put that on, on him as well, because I'll put him in the back row... So he can get some stuff. Steel and sense. Okay. Actually, do I really need steel? No, oh, whatever. Sense. Uh, I don't use sense. Let me 
Let me manage this a little bit. So you need all... And restore. You're gonna cure us if anything happens. Um, I'll give you long range. I'll put you in the back. Did I not take? Oh, I was also didn't. Did I, did I not take steel? How? Oh, can I steal from everybody if I do that? I don't know. I don't know if that works with that, but. I'll let them level up anyway. Um, I don't think I want to use anything else here. Oh, crap. Do you know what else I need to do? Oops. No, no, no. I bought an extra silver armlet for him. And then also... I'll give him the star pendant. Screw it. Uh, yeah, I really don't need anything else, I guess. So about Warcraft 3, if not going to details, it's worse version of the game than original, plus a lot of bugs. Oh, really? So it, it's it, it was released that bad, huh? Hmm. And the, and the original game came out in 2002. Blizzard has really been dropping the ball lately, and I, I don't know what the hell is up with them. Word of wise, while your other party members level up, uh, when they're not actually in a party, you level up more slowly. Hence why Wrath 13 is at 19, not 21 or 22 like Cryer Barrett. No, no, I understand, Anton. I understand. Well, frankly, I'm surprised that this game implemented experience sharing like that. Um, I thought, personally, that it wasn't going to be like that. I thought, like, oh, because it's an older RPG, if they're not in your party, period, they're not going to level up. So I understand, like, that's why they're not leveling up as much as they should, but I already made my decision that my main team is going to be Cloud, Barrett, and Tifa, at least for the time being. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know why Benji's going crazy like that. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to also equip him with his new weapon, his Silver Barrette. So, there you go. He is pretty much decked out. Put him in the back because he has long range. Okay. I'll let you guys enjoy the fire. We gotta go back up. The character models look good. That's pretty much all people can say about... The only good thing they can say about Warcraft 3. Man, what the hell... Like, you think that... Oh, man, we really need to do good... Uh, with this re this remake or like this remaster and whatever, and apparently, oh Benji's fine. Thank you for asking. They also ref refused refunds at first until pressured, and their response was very garbage as well. Kind of like indicating they blame gamers for their own expectations. There was also some issues of uh, false advertisement. Blizzard, what is wrong with you guys? Come on. Come on. Get in there. Oh, oh, oh. Are we all set? I uh, I hope, I think so. Oh, shall we go? What the hell? All right, I'm in, I'm in. Hey, aren't you going with us, Grandpa? Hell no. Are you crazy? He's dangerous in there. I told you that. You want an old man like me should go in first? I'll be right behind you. So, hmm. I guess this is our new a new dungeon. <laughs> How long uh, have I been on for? I, I think I think it's a little over an hour. 
I would continue playing just for a little bit more, but this is a good time, at least in my opinion, for a break. I mean, we're going to get right into a dungeon and fighting, so we can save that for uh, when I come back from my break. So I'll be back in like three or five minutes. Uh, get up, stretch, eat, do what you got to do. And we'll be exploring the sealed cave, I guess, right after I come back. See you guys in a bit. 